Hey Pisces, so this is your reading. Um, I was trying to debate on whether or not I was going to do this, so I pulled some cards for you. Um, what is it? Don't, it's your self known. Self known. Don't let your past hold you back. And then we got surrender to the divine with the full moon energy. messages for Pisces so there's something that you're not letting go and it is a part of your self node so basically anything in our self node we do not need except for our spiritual gifts so this person is pushing in your self node energy a fiery climax approaches Aries energy so basically this is about all about spiritual warfare um, and things building up until it is slow basically like the tower so something that you're still dealing with that you don't want to let go balance practicality and spirituality something that you don't want to uh, let go and something that is not equal give and take because before i started when i when i shuffled i saw let me see if this card comes out again it was uh i think new moon no it was full moon in virgo it was full moon in Virgo, and it was um, it's time to give rather than take or something like that. It's time to give. So look, it's you and your loved ones are safe in reverse. So someone isn't safe with somebody. This could be a relationship, or this could, this is something where it's off balance. There's there's um. A lot of build up here like um emotions and also um i'm getting like physical altercations shit like that there's some type of shit that is gonna come through pop out like it's, it's three full moons here three full moons you and your loved ones are safe is in reverse meaning you need to get out of the situation before you get hurt your commitment is being tested that's just, I don't know where, I don't know. The energy is gaining momentum. We know that because a fiery climax approaches. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So you could be dealing with, a, um, well, this is Pisces. So Pisces, you're here. Cancer, you're here. And this is Aries and Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. something here about situation for money you're in a situation for money or you're doing something with money that is illegal or not morally right so that's why your commitment is being tested your commitment to the most high is being tested with this um with this keep holding on to something with don't release it so you're not surrendering to not surrendering to the divine and you've already seen um you've already seen the signs and synchronicity to let something go a while ago and it's like you still you, 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 it's some there's something that's gonna build up to explode like it could be a lie but it was something that it's just something that you just won't release so let's see what it is so and this is for this week okay so For Pisces, Spirit, Archangel Michael, I call you ask you to please protect me and my loved ones during this reading and collective. Protect us from any robot virtual entities, entities during this reading. Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Yeah. So this could be a relationship and this could also be something that you do for money that you won't let go. This is part of yourself. No. So you're not supposed to be doing it. Communication. Eight of Wands. Okay, Nine of Wands is in reverse. So you're going to receive some type of communication from a Nine of Wands in reverse. This is a motherfucker that is a hoe. Like, he is really a hoe. Like, he... 
or you don't want to hold on let me let me clarify this yeah no so you're the queen of swords and somebody is the knight of wands and they're also the knight of wands i mean the knight of um swords and then the knight of wands are reversed so that's that means that this person this person um they could be very abusive like um with their words now this could be the queen of swords that's abusive the queen of swords could be a um aquarius or somebody with aquarius placements gemini or uh what's that one libra okay so this person acts like a complete bitch she like is the type of person to um this is a feminine energy but it doesn't have to be that this person is a feminine you know somebody's in the feminine energy so they're misusing sex they're like it's like revenge um oh i heard revenge porn somebody has revenge porn or some shit but um this bitch has like sex to get back at her boyfriend or something like that and she's very abusive mentally abusive and physically abusive so this is a feminine energy here so you could be dealing with this person or yeah they're definitely attacking you a lot through um physical activity some of you guys this person actively actively sabotages you all the time and this could be through communication but i'm getting that they really sabotage you through actions they sabotage they could be sabotaging like your workplace or something or your car because there's a motorcycle right here okay Pisces, Pisces, so there's a, there is some karma here that's going to play out or something. I'm going to use this other deck. So this is like more like your commitment to yourself is being tested. Something like that. So for Pisces. Yeah, whoever this is, she be she be doing the most. Like she is type to beat niggas' asses or try to cut niggas because she's the queen of swords and the knight of swords. So she mm -mm. and she's the knight of wands in reverse, so she really wants revenge, like through her actions. Pisces, Pisces. Hmm. Pisces, Queen of Cups in reverse. This is an unloving person. This person doesn't have no love in her heart. It's the king of cups. This person loves someone. Okay. Karma. The empress is here. So there's an empress, there's a queen of cups in reverse, and there's a king of cups. So this king of cups, I'm getting that he loves this empress because who the fuck doesn't love the empress? Right? So there's karma here because I guess he was dealing with this queen of cups in reverse and she is also the queen of swords so this bitch is a karmic soulmate she has no love in her heart what's the queen of cups queen of cups in reverse queen of cups in reverse four swords okay um this person what oh you know what? There's something here. What is the page of Pentacles in the Four of Swords? Somebody doesn't have clarity about something. They don't. They don't have the the right information. Somebody could be contacting a lawyer, trying to get some type of clarity. Somebody could be sick. 
around you or you could be mentally exhausted um or meditating trying to think about an idea some of you guys are trying to think about how you're gonna lie because the fucking ace of swords is in reverse and the queen of swords is here so is the high priestess so some of y'all thinking about how you're gonna fucking lie or how you're gonna um make something seem unclear but by providing some type of information or evidence it could be like fake evidence oh shit yeah because you're getting karma or somebody's getting karma but i'm giving this you pisces because this ace of cups is here so who's this queen of swords and this high priestess eight of wands this queen of swords is the one that is um, communicating to make sure it seem unclear and hmm why is the six of cups in reverse it's two children here two children oh shit so this person could be so all right this person could be married or you could be married and they're providing some type of support to a home situation or a marriage or a baby mama, somebody that they lived with or live with. There's going to be a death put to this. Um, for some of you guys, yeah, the tower, this, this is going to be put to rest. Um, for some of you guys, um no there's a tower here but this, this could be about a child nine of wands so somebody was being a hoe um ten of pentacles in reverse this is definitely a family situation and it's about money like i said so this person could have maybe um the magician is here too. This person could have married somebody for money or um, they were stealing money. There's a family here that's that's fucked up, like really fucked up, like. All right. Oh shit, my shit is like falling asleep. So let me get this King of Cups. Oh, my fucking bitch just fell asleep. All right, King of Cups. So Pisces, this King of Cups is taking action into a new beginning of, of he's the fool. So he's in, being initiated into a new beginning. Maybe try to hold on to something. So um, the King of Cups, this King of Cups could be all stuck in his head about something, really stressed out. Not having sleepless nights, maybe. All right. Cause he still has to juggle a situation. He has to juggle that. If he has to juggle the empress, that means he's juggling with his happiness because he's not happy unless he's with the empress. Because once you meet the empress, it's like you can't be happy without her. So, what is the king of wands? The king of wands is um. He is very passionate about somebody, and he used someone as um. He seems confident, more confident about something. King of wands. There's also a king of wands here. So this king of wands is a single man or a single masculine energy. They were trying to block something. Okay, with well, this queen of wands just came out. So this is like a Bonnie and Clyde energy. That's not Bonnie and Clyde cards. This person did not have no foresight. And this person that she's with, so this could be you or this is someone that your masculine is dealing with or someone that you're dealing with if you're a divine masculine um this person wants revenge on you they teamed up with the queen of wands teamed up with bonnie and they're trying to set you up they have no foresight though it's because they got left out in the cold these people could be struggling so they maybe they, they're stealing money from you they need money oh my god somebody going through this shit nine of cups somebody is confused they're confused. Let me see this um 
karma. So what's the karma? Who's receiving the karma? Somebody was creating illusions and doing spell work. You see these cards? This girl. She over here with her candle lit, the crow in the background and the skull and the pentacle. So she wanted to basically get rid of somebody for some money. Um, some of you guys, she was putting shit in this nigga's drinks. Look, mad drinks with mad poison in it. And she was doing candle work and it was for money. Maybe even try to kill you because the crow was there with the skull. So she could have really tried to kill your masculine. It could be for money. Some, something about insurance policies. Or even, um, yeah, insurance policies. Or like inheritances. Like um, family businesses. Or fam just because you have a business, they think that, you know, you may have different accounts or something. Could be like... Um, Called mutual funds, mutual mutual accounts, something like that. This person was creating illusions. All right, so the karma is there. This this magic that they tried to do is actually going back to them. So they're over indulging right now. It could be in um, food. Maybe they they're eating too much food and they're drinking too much drink. Um, what is their karma? So this could be three women or two men and one woman something like that for some of you oh yeah i said that and there's a king of pentacles there's a virgo towards capricorn that they could have a family definitely a virgo here um this person you could have a family with this person see the Hermit is the virgo ten of cups is here this family so you could have this person is receiving karma you're receiving karma through your family could be your husband you be married to this person or you thought this person was gonna be your husband um this person is a skilled magician this person knows how to manifest this virgo this person is researching um so i'm getting someone here this king of pentacles this hermit the chariot somebody wants to move forward they this could be they could be dealing with scorpio or a cancer they want to leave a situation they want to put an ending to it they miss someone this person got a child or um the, the person that they're with is like they don't this person if they have a child with this person, it's like they be neglecting the child sometimes because um, they because you left them. Or if this is them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is them or you. So some of you guys, you see how this girl, she be, she just looks so airheady. She's not even worried about her child and how her child feel. Like, she's not even looking at her child. She's not worried about her child. Her child is not even trying to... Um, she, she, she got a cup... Yeah, I am, but she's not. The, the child looks like, I don't know, he might be hungry or thirsty or something. <laughs> That's what the fuck he looked like. He looked like he cold. So she over here with the um, with just her bra or some shit. She, this, this is a siren energy. This is a mermaid spirit, a Jezebel. So look up those terms, succubus, Jezebel, siren energy. So this person got on like this, this bra or whatever and um but her child is cold child is cold and her child don't got no jacket shit like that um not even worry about her child over here drinking could be just drinking this person is overindulging because they ended a relationship because there's a um king of okay so there is a king of pentacles of virgo why is the hermit here that is spying on somebody on social media. So if it's spying on you, you just spying on this person. This could be a Scorpio here. 
but this person is no longer crying over spilled milk. Somebody's no longer crying over spilled milk or something. Okay. Um. Hmm. Clarify the Empress. Empress is Aries, and so is the Emperor. So the Empress right on top is the Aries. Um, is the Emperor. Literally right next to each other. That shit is crazy. Okay. So that's clarifying the Empress is the Emperor. So in secret or with the, with the moon, which is like mistress energy or secrets kept. Um, could be this Empress is kept a secret or this Emperor. I'm dead. Don't mind my own brother. What's the moon? What's the moon? What's the secret? The secret here with this, um... Okay. <laughs> Five of swords. Hmm. Mm hmm Five of swords. In reverse. There's someone here that can no longer get away with something. They're trying to, um... What is the secret? What is the secret? They, they have to go back to something with the eight of cups. They want to go back to something in secret. That's what it is. They are strategizing. So there's a lot of fighting and arguing, all types of shit. You know, this could have to do, this would also be arguing. They could, you could be arguing with your empress, the five of wands. You're letting go of a burden. Cause some somebody argues with you way too much or whatever or you could argue with this person and now they're letting go of something or you guys are letting go of each other whatever something like that this person is spying on you on social media or you're, <coughs> or you're spying on this person okay so i'm gonna give this advice pisces Advice for Pisces. Um, advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces, how is this divine advice? Angles of the white light. Please protect me during this reading. Like Angel Michael, they have any negative energies. Being sent to me, somebody here is codependent on someone. Could be for money, could be for sex. It's definitely someone that they, you have a family with. Somebody is codependent on someone for money or time. Um, it's time to disconnect from this person. Someone here could also have a codependency, like um, a drug habit or an addiction. Okay. Disconnect from the world. I some divine advice. Community. Somebody needs to disconnect from a community of people. So, somebody needs to retreat from a community and they should be concerned about something so what should they be concerned about courthouse some of you guys are in a court case some of you guys you're calling in your true soulmate this could be you calling in a person or someone's calling you it's like but both of you guys are calling each other in so someone here has unrequited love with someone they could be going to court with this person and they're concerned about something. So they're concerned about something and it has to do with family, of course. So it could be like child support, it could be a custody battle. It could be like, 
Yeah, that's the yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what else? It could be a divorce, so it could be like a split up of assets, something like that. There's unrequited love here with a soulmate. Pay attention. Somebody is paying attention to the red flags and the signs and synchronicities around them. Um, it could be about this person here, this false person. Oh shit, that shit came out right here. This false person. Someone has passion for a soulmate. So this is a, a false soulmate here. <clears throat> Ooh, it's trying to fuck up my throat chakra. <clears throat> someone here has like a kindred relationship with someone. This playfulness card, this is like my kindred spirit. Like this is like you knew someone. You feel like you've known them since you were a child or you have or in a past life. You guys could be feeling like you guys could feel like you guys are like play like brother and sister, you know what I'm saying? Like play like brother and sister. Religious factors is in here. You guys could have been brother and sister in a past life. I know it sounds weird, but that's what they told me. Um Yeah. Or something like mother and father and mother um i said father and mother um maybe um i mean i mean like father and son or father and son or i said father and son not father and son it's his father and daughter or mother and son yeah, that's what you guys could have been in the past life too father daughter mother and son for some of you others you brother and sister and this is basically um someone that from a past life so you could have decided to love yourself first and have self-respect for yourself um and focus on your finances and career somebody here there um, could be going from being religious to being spiritual, but there is religious factors um, in a relationship as well. Like maybe somebody's spiritual, the other one is religious. But I feel like someone is like going from being religious to spiritual. And that has to do with a soulmate connection that they have passion for. And something here is about career. So it could be like their career path. They want to work on their partnership. Somebody's getting some unexpected income. And this could be like a message, unexpected message, and also some money. So a wealthy man could want to give you some money um, and work on the partnership. Ooh, for some of you guys, he wants to marry you, or he could be married to a main female that he has children with. Oh shit, okay. So somebody here wants to work on a partnership with a wealthy man, they want to get married. Okay, so main woman, main woman. This main woman has bad health. She's stressed the fuck out. Why is she stressed out? Cause she's not working through divine timing. This is in reverse. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. For her, divine timing is not. She has bad health. Why? So this main main female here is not the gift, or she's not getting gifted. She's not getting gifted. They have children with this person. So somebody here, um, they're definitely not getting a ring. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Somebody's not getting a fucking ring, but somebody else is. So engagement. Yeah, they don't have, if they were um, engaged to this person, they took back their ring or something like that. With this romantic feelings in, the, in reverse, they don't have any more feelings for this person. Engagement. Somebody here is not getting what they expected to get. Um, and someone else here. Knows that they already met the partner that they seek. You, somebody else is the one. Let your friends ask for support and, um, and accept support from others. So what is this? Let your friends help you. 
that's a lot of shit. Is it let your friends help you? There's too many cards. Okay, so what is it let your friends help you? House. Someone here is asking for support from their friends or asking for advice. Or they could be asking your friends for advice on how to handle you. Um, this could be someone that they live with. They could be asking their friends about their person that they want to be with. Asking for advice. There's a new love here. Someone is not the official person. Someone is not an official person. Someone here is taking a journey with a new love. And they're asking for advice. In the distant horizons. In the distant horizons, what new love? Distant horizons. Chemistry. And the child. So someone is gonna have a new child or someone's gonna yeah, the distant horizons like coming up. There's a strong magnetic attraction, so you guys could be having a lot of sex with someone, um, a new soulmate, someone that a new love. Um, there's gonna be a child that's gonna be conceived with a mature woman after you release this ex. So you could be that person could be older than the current person that you're with, or something like that. This is a feminine energy, release your ex. So you have to release your ex in order to get this person. Somebody here is may lose out on a job or um, they're gonna lose their job and then get fired. Um, somebody here could go to jail or they could just be in spiritual jail right now or they're going to be. Okay, so who's in jail? Yeah, because they're gonna be separated. So they need to separate from this person. For some of you guys, you're in spiritual jail or your person's in spiritual jail spiritual jail because they won't release their ex and their job could be like their deposits could be going down every month um they're not making as much money or they completely lost the job for some of you guys this person's ex the one that was doing spell work on you she's getting karma and it's just basically she's gonna lose her job because she tried to fuck with your finances too um and your love life so she's gonna be losing her job she's gonna be in spiritual jail this person, it's like nobody wants to be with her like fully. They don't want to give her what she wants, which is like a commitment. But this person isn't faithful. This person was over here setting up somebody with another nigga. Like she was with another nigga, a lover that was setting your divine masculine up or you up or whatever. But this person is going to be separated from the marriage. This person, or this could be you. You're separating from a marriage or you're separating from a relationship because this person made you feel imprisoned and made you like not feel abundant or you was losing money with this person or this is like um this person was losing money for fucking with you you know switch it how you want to switch it all right so who's the wedding wedding message someone's gonna be receive a message could be through email text, phone, they're going to receive some type of information, a letter, um, and they're going to be in despair. So someone could be, like I said, losing a job or getting a divorce or also going to, they're going to court. So they could be something here about a child. Somebody could get a restraining order, separation from a marriage, a real separation. Somebody could get a restraining order on someone. Because, okay. So they're saying make the effort that you guys to take and the effort is that you guys to take is to free yourself take back control of your life because this person there's something here involving the police oh my god yeah you need to put that shit to rest free yourself from that shit coughing is here that shit is dead you heard that shit is fucking dead you deserve real love romantic feelings is here okay and this is like <coughs> this, um main male. It says let go control issues. Allows the strength to unfold naturally and you will have great fortune in work. So basically use a real love. You have you know you have romantic feelings with someone for someone else. 
and you need to let go of control issues and stop trying to um, hold on to this person and release them release them because they're they're actually depleting your money see how she's just throwing out the gold like bitch you're mad ungrateful somebody here is um just throwing out money or they're just losing money now left and right because they're dealing with someone they still pay for some of this stuff or they still like support this person or something like that and they're depleting yes their sudden wealth so as soon as you fucking release this person like all control issues or this person let go of control issues this main male has control issues this main male may have abandonment issues something like that they have control issues they want to control a situation so basically it's like just because this situation like you know what i'm saying they, just, they know this person is toxic but they won't let go because they're trying to have control of the situation it's like maybe they could have broke up with this person or this person could have broke up with them and this person is like going with someone else and they like try to play games or something but you could have left this person and now this person's trying to make you jealous with that person like they like to play games this person they like to flirt they like to act like you know they want this person when really they um they need to release this person and this person is the queen of wands so she likes to do sex magic and stuff like that. So he really needs to have sex with this person. This person is a thief. This person is a thief. Express your love and have a heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with someone. And um, the person that you're thinking about while you're watching this video is the person that I'm talking about. The one that's on your mind all the time. Deal with family issues with this person. Or you need to heal family issues with your parents. And then your poverty will be in reverse, meaning you won't be broke anymore or depleted of your energy from a lover. Okay? As soon as you release this person, you gotta fucking, um, you know what I'm saying? They're depleting your money. I don't know, like, what else to tell you? They're, they're a thief and they're, there's poverty here in reverse because you need to release this person and heal family issues with someone else. Or they need to do it to you, you know? All right, I'm gonna get one Oracle. So, Oracle for Pisces. Pisces wants to buy advice. Pisces wants to buy advice for Pisces. For Pisces. This week. Home. Deep freeze. And golden palace. So something here is frozen. Something here is frozen. Coming apart. It's like there's a um there's money coming apart and there's like a home crumbling apart. This is like a tower coming apart. So this could be your home is coming apart. As well as there's a deep freeze on the golden palace, which is a family situation and also your abundance. There's a deep freeze. You need to have the inner strength in order to um create balance in the situation because things is off balance look and it says balancing act right at, right underneath that balancing act right underneath that something here is off balance like i said because of somebody's intentions maybe their intentions is not good and this person has an egg they laid an egg this owl so you need to you need to acquire some type of wisdom and this could be about a, a child this could be about a pregnancy because the egg is here or this could be like a birth of a new thing, um, death and rebirth, putting something to an end in order to um, start something new. This is also like somebody here has to balance something out because they could have a family with someone else and they're with you or something like that, or they have a family with this person too. Maybe um, you have a new baby with this person or the other person does and they're unbalanced and this is why this situation is coming apart. Like the situation could be unbalanced. Um, coming to life. 
there is a reverse. So last thing is listening, dry desert, follow the leader and cleanse the house. So I'm getting that someone here is listening to music or um, they need to listen to their intuition as well because someone's intentions is bad. Dry desert, meaning there's a drought here. There is a drought in this relationship. There's a drought in love with somebody here is trying to play follow the leader, clearly. Also, you need to follow your intuition, the signs and synchronicities around you because your guides are guiding you. You see all these animals, those are guides, they're guiding you. Somebody could have fairy blood, could be of like a fairy bloodline. Um, so somebody is being guided as well as somebody else is over here trying to play follow the leader. Cleanse the house. Somebody needs to cleanse their home or cleanse their car, cleanse everything. Yeah, cleanse everything. Somebody is a fucking clown. They, they over here fucking doing like circus acts and shit. Somebody could be going through your shit, your drawers, trying to find something. They could be acting like they're cleaning your house and they're really not. They're looking for shit. There's four, four, four here. There's like four fours here. You need to protect yourself or you are protected. You are protected in the situation or your child is. Pizza joy. Or somebody's child. It's like somebody, there's some red flags about a child. Like I said, somebody, um, but I feel like you are protected. So tell me about this child. It's coming together. It's in reverse. So something here about a child, a red flag. Pleasure. It says peaks of joy. So something was your peak of joy and it, it brought you guys together, but it, this is in reverse. So now it's bringing you apart, the same thing. The red flags about this relationship because, um, Something is changing. Something is changing. Transforming into something. Somebody is is um following their intuition. They're cleansing themselves. And they're going towards something new. Going towards uh, following following their intuition about this child and letting go of relationships. They're not coming together with this person anymore. But yeah, that's it, Pisces.